Hello, I'm William Gallagher and this is 58 Keys, which as ever, as always, is for writers like you and me who use and write on Macs and iPhones and iPads. Uh, do subscribe because normally we have those devices to talk about, new Macs, new iPads, all that. And very often, I mean, almost all the time really, we have writing tools, writing services, all these sort of things we can talk about and through which put off actually writing. But once a year, 58 Keys is about using these apps, using these devices to plan ahead. Now, we're writers. There's only so much planning you can do. I mean, by Thursday, I will have written five novels. Yeah, no, not how it works. But I find that if I don't think ahead at all, if I don't put some thought into some semblance of a plan, for what I want to write next year, what I want to achieve in my writing and in my writing business next year, then I don't write it and then it doesn't happen. Um, so at this time of year, as of course it's uh, November the 15th, 2021, I'm starting to think about what I want in the next year. I, I think this is going to work for me and I want you to see a way that it might be of use to you. What I know though is that it's going to involve a fair few apps for it because that's the way I work. Um, it's also the way I worked last year. This is now a tradition in 58 Keys, it goes back an entire 12 months. But actually I've been doing this for I think at least seven years and it helps me. I hope it's going to help you too. All right, that's better. Now th this one thing, I should have said this, I can't imagine that you are riveted at the idea of knowing what my writing plan for 2022 is going to be. So ignore, I'm going to zoom through the boring bits, basically. I'll blur out some bits that are client confidential, if there are any like that. I don't know yet, but it's the apps we want to focus on. And also I realise I'm in Egypt. I forgot to say why we were driving. We're driving because and this is not very green of me. I get some ideas when I'm driving. I promise I was doing it, you know, because I had to be someone I'm coming home and now I am home. I wouldn't just set out to drive around the block to come up with ideas. I don't think I would anyway. But the idea I came up with while I was driving around and when I decided I wanted to talk to you was this. For the first time, I'm going to start planning ahead by looking back slightly. I want to look again. I'm not going to look at the plan for 21 because I might, might kind of colour what I do for 22's plan. But I will look back at what I've actually done, what I've actually written and achieved or whatever, if that's the right word for it, in the year. And I think from that, I'm going to see where the gaps are. And it's the gaps that I'm concerned about. So the first app to see is Airtable. Uh, it's an app on iOS, but it's a service on the Mac's website. Um, I ignored it for years, actually, because I was a diehard FileMaker Pro database user. And Airtable said it was a database, but it looked like a spreadsheet. It looked like a toy database. It's not, though. And there's one thing about it that made me move from my own bespoke FileMaker Pro database. Automation. Wherever I am, I can now make a note and that that's been entered into this one database. And specifically, this is my job book database. Everything I'm hired to do, every commission, every article, each script, it goes into the job book. And I can tell you that I do this for sensible, practical reasons, and that it does actually help with invoicing later. But I also do it to help me as a writer. I realize actually, you told you I do this a lot and in many different ways, I count. When things are a bit rough or you just can't seem to write what you want, I can at least look at this database and some other stuff and see that I've, I have done quite a bit of writing. I am getting some things written. Uh, but now, look at this too. This is the second app used in conjunction. This is Keyboard Maestro. I use it together with Airtable. At my Mac, I press this certain keystroke, enter a description of the job. Then it shows me a list of clients that I most often work with at the moment, and then a, a list of editors and producers I most often work with at the moment. Click on the list, click OK, it's done. I know without looking that that detail is now in my job book database. Um, I can do the same too on my iPhone with a shortcut. So it's fast to do, which means I do it. And it means that list keeps growing, which means when I do look at the list, it can help me. 
Plus, right now, I find I can export the data. I can take every line out of Airtable and I can put it into numbers on iPad or iPhone or the Mac and slice it up to see what I've really done for the year, which actually I'm hoping will make me feel okay. But I suspect, I fear, kind of hope actually as well that it's going to show up some gaps. It's going to show where I haven't done all that I wanted. Okay, so that is what happened. It did show up gaps. Harder than I thought, actually, to be honest. I mean, I'm pleased with things like uh, how many 58 Keys videos I've done. I'm pretty pleased with how many articles I've written. But I look at that list and I see scripts written four. I see my own workshops, 10. I look at those two. I mean, there's more, actually, but it's chiefly those two. And I am embarrassed at how few there are considering what I wanted to do. And that, and that kind of tells me something. It tells me what I really must concentrate on in 2022, scripts and workshops. I can't say that it's fun having lists laid out for the, like this, but you can see that it's useful. Uh, you saw Airtable for the job book database. You saw Keyboard Maestro for automatically entering details. You didn't see numbers, which I pass things through. You also didn't see Apple Notes, where I do keep some information in there as well. But I compile all this stuff and now I slice it and now having it in front of me, I need to think which to me actually immediately means uh, at least two more apps, uh, certainly Omni Outliner and MindNode, though frankly, it also means T. Day four. Day four and I've got a bit of a cold for some reason. Right, I don't know, I don't go anywhere. What's happening? Um, I have been thinking, um, I must have been thinking about those things I haven't done, so let's just put them down here. This is Omni Outliner on the Mac, uh, so there was script writing. It's not like you can put a number on, I'm going to write so many scripts next year. I can write, I'm can. i going to write more scripts next year, but I want to finish Think or Room that I'm working on now. And then this thing called TS, which is an ongoing uh, project I can't really tell you about yet. Leave that there for the moment, get that in my head. And there was also my own workshops. Uh, so I need to schedule Monthly one talked about a Sunday live kind of thing. Uh, no, it doesn't make sense, does it? Think about few and this associated gubbins isn't there, this mailing list. Okay, since we're talking about this and this is fifty eight keys, let's talk about that. Um, it's been on my mind that I could schedule things better. Do I do a podcast version? Uh, would that be just the audio for this? From the videos or something separate? So I'm not answering questions yet about my plan. I'm just dumping things out of my head. And actually, I think that's just, they're like uh, the headline worries for the year. Now let's get rid of these. Okay, that's all. I think that, that will definitely do for you watching me do this. But day four is going to be pondering around all of these, and then you'll see what happens next. Oh, actually, 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 hang on a second. Uh, Writers Guild, I can also... Uh, I can reapply to be uh, deputy chair of the Writers Guild again next year, so I need to think about that. Um, okay, that'll do. Okay. Keep going. Remind me to add my time novel to the plan. <coughs> oh. Hey, Siri, remind me to add that thing about Radio 4 and the follow up. Okay, uh, so I've been building up this. I've got, now I've got this longish list of thoughts in Omni Outliner. Um, share this share as OPML, send to my node, and there you go. There's my text list as a visual map, and that's what I'm gonna work from next. I mean, I could, I probably will actually work on the iPhone from it, but you can imagine a map, it's better on the iPad. I'm certainly gonna be doing some of the stuff on my Mac. Okay, so seeing it all, 
laid out like this I can also see where things go together like there's a lot here to do with workshops so I can group those together I can amortize the effort if you like and also grouping them together means that for now for example I can forget about them think about everything else and then later forget everything else and focus only on them see what they share see what I can do to make them all happen and usually actually I can step back like this see the bigger picture and spot where I'm missing things actually right now I can't see a gap but there is this business here about monthly and quarterly targets goals or something I don't I don't know how to do it yet but I'm going to keep working on this and seeing if I can make things fall neatly into quarters or something measurable achievable it's all about what you can see in the apps like MindNode, Omni Outliner, Airtable even Numbers and it's also about those being an extension of your head I see these, I find gaps, I'm thinking about them all. You know how you can have a story problem and, and somehow going off to dinner or something helps you fix it. That's what I get from pouring this all out in front of me in the apps. And I feel I'm not there yet, but I also feel like I'm really well on the way. Besides, if I told you any more, showed you any more, you'd be able to say, well, phew, it's February, why haven't you done the five novels? Uh, it's a few weeks ago. Actually, it's now uh, November the, uh, hang on, it's the fifth day am I doing this. So the 20th of November already, grief. 20th of November already. And, you know, I've still got a few ways to go, haven't I, before we get to 2021. So I'm going to carry on working through all of this. And it will help. I hope it's helped you too. Um, do let me know if you have a better idea for how to do this or whether you don't do this or whether you prefer to freewheel and let me know in those you know, comments and things below. I'll be, I'll, I will steal from you. But for the moment that's it from this 58 Keys edition. Thank you for watching and thank you for watching me think it through aloud. In fact actually because I wanted to, I knew I wanted to talk to you about it I think that's why we do it. Maybe a little bit earlier, maybe a little more in depth than I did before so thank you for that. But now Let's you and I, both of us, go off and get that writing done that we keep putting off. Okay, write more, both of us. Also, take care of yourself and I'll see you soon.